So we are heading to Onslow Bay's factory today. They are starting our 33. I think they started like last week. Today they plan on infusing, which is pretty cool. I've personally never um, seen it done, but uh, yeah, we're excited to go see our 33. This is just the start. I mean, then I think on Monday or Tuesday next week, we should pop it out. And uh, that's gonna be a whole nother cool thing to watch. So yeah, I mean, stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun build. Right, what's happening, man? What's that happening? How much? You tell me. Oh, ready to fuse a boat. Yeah. How about you? Let's go. Let's go show it. Let's do it. All right, man. Basically, the way we built our shop, stuff, raw materials come in the back, work their way to the front. So you can look at the progression of each boat yeah. just by where it is uh -huh. on the floor. Um, this one, new 41. Uh, it's got the new 400s on it. This one's actually getting ready to leave on Monday and go to Fort Pierce for a fishing tournament that we're, uh, the Fort Pierce Invitational that we're sponsoring. And I'm, and I'm actually going to be down fishing this boat. Nice. Um, that's a big one. You got another, another 27, 27, 33. And it's pretty cool. They just work down the line here, you know? Yep, everything just slides down the line so you can tell, you know, about where it is in the, the construction process. Uh, another 41, 33. And this is our first 37. Um, we got the fuel tanks in it. We're going to start putting the boxes in, start rigging the outside. We're finishing up a liner mold now. That's so, the next one I'm getting. Yeah, we're anxious <laughs> to get this one done. Um, it's gonna be a good boat for what us. Do you, uh, what, what, goes, what do you put on the back? Triple 450s, oh, wow, 450 okay. R's, yep. Nice. We're expecting 80 mile an hour range out of it. Oof. I spent a lot of time myself getting the bottom really fair, Yep. really nice tight edges. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a fast bottom. Uh -huh. And now, you got a 33 over here, right? I just wanna show, because that's, that's the actual right one we're getting, yeah. Um, this is a 33 right here. You know, a lot of boats don't have you know, not a lot of boats had the foam in them. I like the way we built our boats. Uh -huh. um, I like the fact that we, uh, every open area that's not the bilge or a fish box, uh, it's all foam filled. Uh -huh. So it provides flotation, provides strength. It also uh, provides a uh, dead end of the sound in the water. Yeah. And it just, it makes for a really strong, well, you know, structure beneath the deck. And the cool part is, you know, we're just showing the infusing today, but it's gonna be really cool to do step by step of this whole process. I mean, we'll be here in a couple couple months, and it'd be really fun to, you know, you guys will catch up and see the whole process and till it gets to that, and then out the door. So, I'm really excited to do this. It's gonna yeah, be a fun time. Likewise. Brad, where are we going now? We are headed into the trim area. Okay. So all the parts that come out of lamination, they come into here, they get trimmed, they get prepped. Uh, we also install our fuel tanks here. Uh huh. Uh, and we also put all the foam into the boat. Okay. This is actually a uh, North Carolina Wildlife's boat. This boat oh, be, I saw you guys doing that. Yeah, it's nice. going to be on patrol up in Ocracoke. Nice. So right now, uh, Matt's in there prepping it. That, man, you guys do that quick, because I saw the video the other day. I mean, that was just on there. Yep, so right now he's going to reset the fuel tank. So the foam tank, uh, the fuel tank will get foamed in, uh -huh. and then it gets fiberglassed over, and then we paint it with gel coat to seal up any kind of pinhole. So there's absolutely no water, chance of water intrusion. I got a feeling they're gonna be uh, probably ordering a bunch of these after. <laughs> I hope so. So it's, he said it's going to wildlife? Yep. Nice. It'll yep. Be on the water in June. yep. Yep. Nice. You know what motors they got? Twin 300s. Nice. And they got a gray interior. Uh, we just straight up all their parts. They got a gray console, gray lean post. Um, pretty good looking boat. You get them locked in, man. Yeah. <laughs> they're good to work with. Too. Yeah, yeah. They're actually great to work with. All right, so Brad, where are we heading now? All right, we're leaving trim. We're going into lamination. So all lamination, and this is where I believe we are infusing today, correct? Yes. Yep. Uh, this is our cap plug for our 37. Uh huh. That's our liner mold for our 37. So we're almost done with that. Okay. So a lot of that stuff is still hand laid. Uh, we have a few little items that are hand laid, our fish boxes. Yep. Uh, but for the most part, everything's infused. Your now. live wells too, right? Or uh, the live wells right now are hand laid, but we're about to. Uh, we're about to start infusing those as well. Okay. So our, our goal is to be 100% infusion. And uh, this is her right here. This is the 33 mold. Cool. Damn. What's like, where do, I mean, I'm, I have no knowledge of this really. I mean, I got a basic idea. Um, but where do we start now? Because I mean, it's about to happen now. So. so everything's been sprayed, everything's been packed in the boat, bags on the boat. Yeah. Um, next thing is the vacuum infusion process, yeah. right? 
So uh, I'll run you through it real quick. Um, we got resin here in this tote. We put in a little over the amount that we actually need. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see we wrote it all down how much each yep. model gets and everything. So anyways, uh, vacuum infusion process starts with vacuum, obviously. Uh, that's already, uh, bag's already sucked down, yeah, all that yeah. good stuff. So I'll walk you through this. Um, here's the resin. It goes through this machine. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's pumping. So we're it's pumping a, now? Yeah. Okay. So it's pumping. Resin's going through here. If you come over here, I'll show you. The resin's going through the machine. Here at the end of the head, it's mixing with the catalyst. Okay. So everything going into that barrel right now is catalyzed. And, and it's dialed in perfectly. Like, you know, like, yeah, yep. the right so, amount of resin. Yeah. Based on temperature, we have to dial in the percentage of catalyst. Yeah. Well. And the cool part about this is what I, we were just talking about is it, I mean, you're saving so much. You're using exact resin, right? Yep. Like, so you're losing, what, weight and, and, and money and time, right? So. Yeah, so the goal with this, with the vacuum infusion process, is uh, we're shooting for a 70 30 yeah. glass to resin ratio. Okay. So, um, yeah, so now we'll go back. Um, and this thing's set on a timer? I guess, well, I guess when it's done, it just it completely it's, stops. It's an on off. Okay, switch. cool. Yeah. We're not that. Uh, sophisticated yet, <laughs> you can put a stroke counter on it yeah um but it's different like if that thing gums up or something it'll slow it all down yeah you just don't want that yeah and so before this whole process is done though you guys are completely putting the cloth all down like evenly and then vacuum sealing it the hell out of it right yep. and making sure okay it is sketchy if you're a beginner. Well, that's what I'm wondering this. right now. Like, is like, because this shit's going off. Like, you got resin and hardener, and it, oh, it's, yeah. there's not really much room for error. No, okay. not not at all. Um, you know, one shot at this. Uh, if you mess it up, yeah, you basically chop this thing up and throw it away. Really? Uh, this is the last chance. Everything has to go right in order for that someone sucks. to get their boat. That would, yeah, has it happened? Well, I guess it, it does happen. Not to me. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs>